This is the great sin of a narcissist that can never be forgiven by God until they die. Narcissism is a personality disorder marked by grandiosity, a lack of empathy, and a need for admiration. Being in a relationship with a narcissist can be devastating for the other person. Narcissists can cause their victims a lot of emotional pain, which can make them feel confused, hurt, and unable to move on with their lives. You can't underestimate how hard it is on your emotions to be with a narcissist, and it can take years for a victim to heal and get over the trauma. One of the most important things to know about relationships with narcissists is that they are very unfair. Most of the time, narcissists don't take responsibility for their actions. Instead, they blame their victims. They may use manipulation and gaslighting to make their victims doubt their own reality and memories of what happened. This can make victims feel confused and unsure of what happened, which can make them feel even worse emotionally. When a narcissist is done with their victim, they move on quickly and don't think twice about it. They might throw their victim away and treat them like trash, as if they never knew them. This can make the victim feel hurt and confused as they try to figure out what went wrong. Narcissists often don't care much about other people and see them as nothing more than things they can use for their own good. This lack of compassion and care for other people is disgusting and hard to understand. In this section, we'll talk about the seven cardinal sins that narcissists commit and the ways they try to avoid taking responsibility for their bad behavior. Click subscribe if you want to get new information and read the rest. This will help raise awareness and keep the conversation going. First, narcissists are the worst kind of people who drain your emotions. The narcissist feeds off of your humanity, your honesty, and your abilities as a person with a working conscience. They do it because it gives them a rush to be in charge of other people. They like how much power they have over you and how they can use it to scare, control and hurt you. But at what price? When you give up your very self to make it happen. What are you really giving up? You lose mental stability, can't tell the difference between dreams and reality, and can't take in or remember information. Your point of view changes and so does the way you feel. They don't care if you forget who you are. They don't care about how much damage they cause. The only thing that matters to them is getting the energy and resources they need. Extreme gaslighting is the second biggest sin. They changed your story, how you felt, and how you saw them. What were they thinking? Since they were determined to repeat what you said, of course, if they could just control your story, they could get what they want from you, force you to do things, and get you to agree to things you wouldn't have otherwise. They wrapped their psychic arms around you and squeezed until you gig into their reality. When you were around them, your ideas about yourself, them, reality, and the world as a whole were changed, reshaped and distorted. What was the evil plan of the narcissist until they were able to use you? So that they can get your support, which lets them take responsibility for things you didn't do, faults you didn't have, and blame for things you did. It's not okay to let someone else run your life so much that you treat yourself like trash, lose your sense of self-worth, and forget who you are and what you stand for. Willful ignorance is the third deadly sin. Narcissists are always right about what they want and what they need. They know that all they have to do is be kind, respectful, self-aware and responsible. But they don't really realize it. They are ready to do things on their own. Think back to the good times when the narcissist was worried that you might leave the relationship or that they might lose control over you. They changed some things about themselves and became more pleasant people. I don't understand why people would act like that when they knew that was exactly what you needed to keep the relationship going. But they knew they had to make you beg for the bare minimum of respect, understanding, compassion, 
presence, intention, love and care to keep the connection alive. It's important to remember all of the great things that can help a relationship grow. They didn't let you do anything you asked for on purpose. 4. They tried to hurt your reputation when they couldn't control you directly. Even after they found out that the lies they were spreading were not true, they kept doing it. They made up all these lies about you to hurt you. Where did this idea come from? It came from their pure, animalistic, animal-like hatred. It's hard to realize that I need to respect this person instead of calming down their anger. Problems in relationships are inevitable, but I have to let the past stay in the past. I need to give them time to get better. But they didn't stop. Instead, they kept going. They tried to control you directly, but you didn't let them. So, they chose people who could hurt your reputation by spreading lies about you. They ruined your reputation and changed how other people saw you, which hurt both your career and your personal life. They didn't care that they were causing you pain. In fact, they were glad for the chance to do so. They figured out that if they ran a smear campaign, they could win over most people and get you kicked out, which would boost their own self-esteem. It's not okay because it would give them a chance to get back at you and get revenge out of jealousy, spite or a harsh personality. Sin no. 5. Having affairs with other people while also having an affair with you and trying to hide it. They try to hide it when you catch them cheating. Who would do that? When you try to make them take responsibility, they call you crazy, change the subject, and say it's all your fault. A person who has no feelings. Because I think this is the behaviour of a bad person, not a person with a disorder. I'm not ready or willing to think about the disordered part of their personality right now. This is an awful thing to happen. Evil is doing something you know you shouldn't, knowing that the other person is your partner and that if they found out the truth, it would hurt them. And when they find you, you try to make them look bad. If you're not bad, I don't know what you are. I don't know what's worse than that. Narcissism, which can destroy a person's ability to trust, makes this betrayal unforgivable. By lying to you all the time and ruining your time together, they betray you in the worst way possible. They lie all the time, so you can never be sure of what the truth is. When you leave the situation and go back to the real world, you'll see that it was all a dream. So, as soon as you realize and wake up to the fact that it was all a lie, the whole relationship and situation is revealed to you as a lie. When they do, they are so shocked and hurt that it takes a long time for them to trust again. Unfortunately, Many people who have been lied to never trust anyone again. They have been hurt by a loss of trust that will never fully go away. The sixth sin is hurting other people physically. Not all narcissists are physically violent, but those who are can make their victims feel so unsafe that they can't imagine being around anyone else. A victim might not feel safe again for years or even decades because they are always afraid that the person who hurt them will come back and hurt them again. They don't feel good being themselves. Because they have been traumatized by the narcissist's mental and physical abuse, they are triggered by settings that are still unstable or places that are completely safe. Since my own father was a narcissist, I think people who hurt others physically are terrible. When someone uses physical violence, you don't see yourself. You see someone who has lost all compassion. Also, they have no control over the evil, satanic side that comes out. They are just acting out the anger they feel. Last but not least, exploitation is the seventh and last cardinal sin. Narcissists see people as things they can use and then throw away. Due to their sense of superiority and entitlement, they see other people as things that can be thrown away. This is also how they get supplies or get away from people who are after them. When they go after someone, it's not because they care about that person, want to get to know them, build a relationship with them, or make a positive difference in their lives. 
Instead, they want money, sex, material gain, or something else that has nothing to do with love, compassion, care, or pure humanity. They don't see the person, just the benefits they can get from manipulating and tricking them into falling into their trap. They treat people like things, which feeds their animal instincts and shows how much they only care about themselves and staying alive. Exploitation is a complicated subject, and we'll talk about it more in a later episode. I hope you like this episode, if you are still with me. Please let me know what you think in the comments, and if you liked it, please like it and share it. We'll keep talking about this in the next episode. Start making things better. So the conclusion in this video, the impact of being in a relationship with a narcissist, narcissism is a personality disorder that is characterized by grandiosity, lack of empathy, and need for admiration. Victims of narcissists can experience a lot of emotional pain and may feel confused, hurt, and unable to move on with their lives. Narcissists often use manipulation and gaslighting to make their victims doubt their own reality, making victims feel worse emotionally. Narcissists do not take responsibility for their action and often blame their victims, saying other people as things they can use for their own good. Victims often struggle to heal and get over the trauma. The seven cardinal signs that narcissists commit and the ways they try to avoid taking responsibility for their bad behavior. The first thing is that narcissists drain the emotion of those around them, using their power to scare, control, and hurt them. The second sign is extreme gaslighting, where the narcissist change the victim's story, feelings, and respection of reality to control them. The third sign is willful ignorance, where the narcissist believes they are always right and only do things on their own terms. The fourth sign is that narcissists may try to hurt the victim's reputation when they can no longer control them directly. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to click like, share, and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.